Hello, I'm Karthi Gopalan from National Semiconductor and I'll be going over a brief overview of National's LMP91000 that comes from our sensor AFE stable. So what do we have for agenda today? Our agenda today covers the low power chemical sensor AFE approach and execution we took to tackle your needs. What kind of value add our part brings to the mar market, our competitive positioning, and then I'll wrap up. So on to the presentation now. So let me start off with what is a sensor AFE? A sense, a solution that can address a wide variety of sensor variations. That would be a sensor AFE. Let us take one example from our target market, toxic gas detection platform. This market has dozens of different gases and hundreds of different sensors um, that I've captured on the left, si left hand side of this slide. A solution that can support all these variabilities is LMP91000. So various different gases, one solution that can address all these different toxic gas gases. That would be 91000. So I've also highlighted some key features, primarily being programmable trans impedance gain, cell bias, very low power consumption, and onboard sensor, test, and temperature sensor. Target applications would be amperometric applications, chemical species detection, such as toxic gas detection platforms that I just talked about. And I will later address in greater depth the tools and support we offer you via our WebBench Sensor AFE Designer. So the unique selling proposition, the USP that we have is, it's a configurability that allows our solution to address the critical parameters of each and every gas variety out there. So it clearly falls under the sensor AFE umbrella. So moving on to the next slide. So these next slides go over the LMP91000's configurability and functionality. So here I'm talking about the bias drive if you look at the blue um, shaded boxes. So the 91000 provides a three electrode solution interface which would be collect, uh, collector electrode, reference electrode, working electrode. The LMP91000 provides an adjustable bias voltage to the sensor. The bias can be negative, zero, or positive, depending on the type of sensing element. The adjustable bias basically allows LMP91000 to support a wide range of chemical sensing cells. So that's what we have in this, the configurability aspect of the bias drive. So on to the next slide that I have. Here, we will talk about the signal measurement, uh, the green highlighted boxes. So the programmable trans impedance amplifier, TIA, basically translates the working electrode current into an output voltage. The gain here is user programmable in eight steps through the digital interface and covers a wide range. Again, the programmable TIA combined with the variable cell bias is the key reason LMP91000 can address such a large number of gases and gas concentration. So moving on to the next slide. Here we talk about calibration. And the colored boxes basically highlight that. As we all know, Chemical cells can degrade over time, and health monitoring is very important, critical for your application space, right? So in our case, we give you provision to program through the I2C digital interface. This enables calibration and state of health monitoring. Calibration is enabled by providing an onboard temperature sensor that we have, and our onboard temperature sensor provides a plus or minus three degree accuracy. So this can be used by an external microcontroller to correct for performance over temperature. So now that we've gone over the programmability and configurability aspect, here I'm giving you a complete product summary. Basically, our solution 91000 is a programmable AFE designed to be used with chemical sensors in very low power chemical sensing and high performance applications. So that is what our part is about. So it's designed for three electrode amperometric applications, 
It includes programmable cell bias. The cell voltage is user selectable by using the onboard 12-bit DAC that we have. We have programmable TIA. Uh, this translates a working electrode current into an output voltage. Gain is user programmable through the digital bus that we provided. Um, as I mentioned before, we have integrated temperature sensor. This provides temperature monitoring that can be read by the microcontroller that you would hook it up to. Then one of the key aspects is sensor diagnostics via state of health testing. So the information provided to the microcontroller basically allows monitoring of the sensor and LMP91000 assembly. So this is performed through the digital interface, uh, which would be I2C in this case. And I did want to talk about this. The solution consumes extremely low power. How low? Well, it's less than 10 microamps. So the key here is our solution supports dozens of different gases and hundreds of different sensors. The configurability basically enables us to address the critical parameters of each and every gases out there, the toxic gases. So this kind of gives you a summary of our uh, the product. And um, moving on to the next slide, let me discuss uh, our positioning, right? Our value proposition. So what do we bring to the table? Uh, what's the value that we bring to you? Programmable cell bias and output amplification, of course, would be one of the key things. Our solution enables um, um, the 91,000 to address many gases and gas concentration with one single analog front-end design. So not only that, we extend the time between calibrations for you. LMP91000 is configurable on your bench through sensor AFE software, so it's ease of use for you. And what does our integrated module design approach bring? Well, it enables smaller total system solutions for you. It reduces assembly costs, very low power consumption for portable battery powered applications, uh, as I mentioned, less than 10 microamps. So the whole potential stat on a single die helps to reduce the number of tracks on the circuit, which each of them could have created loops on the board, as you're very aware, capturing EM signals, electromagnetic signals. So because more compact layout that we give you um, avoids this issue. So that's another key value proposition. So the bottom line, we enable you to have the fastest time to market. We give you a solution that's very reliable and has the best performance. So this gives you an overview of a value proposition. Moving on to the next slide. What else? This solution outlines the major difference between our solution and the discrete solutions that you use today. Basically, we have a very strong size and power benefit. So take, for instance, the toxic gas detection platforms. These platform size and power are issues because applications often require small form factor, correct? So power consumption is a ma major concern because these are intrinsically safe devices, right, and portable. So our solution that comes uh, in a 14 pin LLP solution is extremely small and it has low power consumption. So this makes it perfect for your kind of applications. Additionally, now you have one solution that can address plethora of gases and sensors for you. So it replaces all the mul multiple discrete solutions that you have today. So I bet this leads to inventory reduction on your end. So this kind of gives you an overview of our competitive positioning that our part brings. Now on to the next slide, where we talk to you about the tools that we offer. The, the development platform that goes with our solution includes both software and hardware. The hardware portion has two elements. The first element common to all of national sensor AFE platforms is the data capture board, which is the SPIO4 board that we have. This board includes an FPGA and an ARM Cortex-M3 to allow system designers at your company to communicate with development platform via a USB cable to a PC. The second element includes the sensor AFE device itself. This is a sensor AFE evaluation board. Uh, it includes the necessary hooks to easily connect to your sensors. 
So our software basically is easy to use, it's helpful, it's accurate, it's downloadable, locally deployed, and of course it's aesthetically pleasing and easy to use. So what does this mean to you? Well, this enables fast prototyping on your end. You can try out new routines, example to detect sensor presence or the aging of sensors. All this requires just updating the software in this case and not hardware, which typically requires more time and, a, and definitely is a riskier proposition, right? So that's what we, we, we offer by giving you the software and hardware package that go with our sensor AFE platforms. So in summary, uh, what is it that we offer to you? Like as you strive towards better performance, smarter sensor platforms and try to reduce fleet management costs, the National Semiconductor Sensor AFE basically, basically complements your effort. We simplify the adoption of sensing technology into your future instrument designs. With functionalities like a common output across a range of sensors, you can today focus less on optimizing the analog front-end performance and concentrate on market-leading ergonomics and instrument functionality. So this gives you, an, I hope, gives you an overview of LMP91000. And I have come to the end of this presentation. Thank you for your time. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you.